All right, so we're checking out another cruiser-style electric bike in this video. This is from a company called Wing Bikes. Uh, it's called the Freedom ST, and the ST stands for Step Through. So again, we have another one of these Step Through-style bikes here. Doesn't have the bar across the top. Easier to get on and off. So this uh, model comes in three different colors. You're looking at the silver and brown combo here. Uh, it does come in a blue and a black version as well. The silver color is pretty nice, and I do like the brown leather grips and seat. Overall, the frame is uh, very solid and uh, well built. The welds on here um, are pretty decent. They're like here's a, it's a little bit on the rough side, but then over here, very smooth and looks really clean. Uh, powder coated paint there, silver color. Uh, it's 6061 aluminum alloy, so very light. The bike only weighs about 39 pounds, and I think it also depends on which battery you're using in terms of the weight. So this is the smallest battery version, 8.8 .8 amp hours. It does come in a 10.4 amp hour and also a 14 amp hour version, which is going to give you obviously different amounts of range depending on which battery you're using. I believe all three batteries are stealth like this and built into the frame so obviously uh, really hard to tell that you're riding an e-bike for those of you that are concerned about that and uh, the, the battery is removable of course you can uh, charge it in the bike or outside the bike so here in the back we have a 550 watt Bafang rear hub motor uh, and the, the derailleur is a Shimano Turney derailleur pretty standard here uh, a lot of these e-bikes have the Shimano Turney so of course the derailleur is combined with a shifter here and this is the uh, Shimano rapid fire shifter so it has a uh, lever here in the bottom there's two of them and you can use that to increase and decrease your gears on the derailleur got your standard hand brakes here and these are just um, mechanical disc brakes the rotors on here are 180 millimeters but the brakes themselves are just mechanical disc brakes i wish these were hydraulic disc brakes, but um, we're limited to about 20, 22 miles an hour. So adequate for this uh, size bike and weight. Uh, should have pretty good stopping power, but yeah, it would be nice to have hydraulic disc brakes at this price point. Taking a look at the rest of the handlebar here in the front, got this sort of curved bar and it, the gears are, or the grips are sort of sloped back a little bit. So it does make it a little bit easier to sit up on the bike, but also at the same time, um, for those of you that are a little bit taller riders, you can have the possibility of hitting your knees on the grips here. I, I don't have that problem. I'm six feet tall. The bike is rated for riders five feet to six foot one. Yes, I'm thinking I'm probably at the limit here. You'll see that here in, in uh, riding footage a little bit later. Over here on the uh, left side of the handlebar, we have a throttle. This is optional. Uh, I think currently it's included as promotion. It is not pre-installed from the factory you have to put that on yourself uh, you know obviously it's meant to be a pedal assist only bike and uh, this is an additional option but currently it is free as a promotion so you do have to put this on by taking the grip off there's a couple of hex screws here you have to slide that off you have to loosen up the handbrake the horn and the bike controller and slide them in a little bit to accommodate the space and then put, put the grip back on after you install the throttle. Another thing is that the throttle moves by, or the throttle is engaged by pushing this lever away, which is kind of opposite of what you would think. Most, most throttles, are, you push the lever down, so it's a little bit different, but you get used to it. You turn on the e-bike by pressing this button here. Long press, I'll turn it on. Display is, um, I think it's an OLED display, not color, black and white. It is fairly readable in bright light. It's sunny day today. I can't see it, no problem, but it might not show up that well in camera. Um, here, if you press the power on off button, you can cycle through the display here, the odometer, uh, trip meter, uh, watt meter, and it goes back. And then the, obviously the up and down here is for your pedal assist levels, and there's five levels of pedal assist. If you're just using the throttle, it just gives you max power um, when you put, push it all the way and, I, and you can also push it just slightly and get less power but it doesn't seem to um, whatever pedal assist level you're on doesn't seem to matter 
of course it does matter when you're pedaling and the more pedal assist you have the more power you have in the heart the faster you can go so the wire management on here is okay you got these zip ties here not uh, the prettiest um, setup here considering the the way the bike looks would have uh, liked to have seen a little bit better there's this uh, hook here that's supposed to I guess hold all the wires in place but every time I put the wires in here they pop out when I turn the handlebar so either the wires aren't long enough for that so this is kind of a I don't know doesn't really work that well and then the throttle cable goes into this section here and I, I probably could have the zip tied it here just to hold it into place make it look a little bit better if I you know probably replace the zip tie right here for that the uh, when you do the throttle assembly you have to grab the wire for the uh, plug it's actually inside the front headlight so before you install the front headlight uh, you have to fish that wire out fish this cable in there and then you connect it inside here and then uh, connect the headlight cable and then install that this was a little bit tricky to do but there's um, installation videos on their website if you want to have uh, an idea of how to install everything their installation video is pretty good there's also a rear brake light here that is engaged by pulling the brake lever of course and as you can see installed are the front and rear fenders uh, those are also an option but currently included for free uh, during the promotion period so check out the link in the video description if you want to see if it's currently still included also worth noting is this uh, bike doesn't have a front or rear suspension so it's a little bit unusual uh, these days pretty much everything has a some sort of suspension um, obviously you want to stick to paved roads for this type of bike sidewalks and asphalt uh, you do feel the bumps on this one uh, the seat isn't particularly cushy it's it's soft enough but it's for this narrow style here obviously you can always uh, upgrade to a different seat if you don't like it however to note it is not on a quick release you have to have to screw it down and to adjust the height all right so this bike does come with a motion triggered alarm you see it's kind of like this key fob type thing you can lock the bike and unlock it and also trigger the alarm so if we go ahead and lock the bike and if we move it or shake it or engage the throttle the alarm goes off now when the bike stops moving the alarm goes off so go ahead and uh, turn it off here that's who beeps there makes sense off yeah so it, it doesn't immobilize the motor which i would have liked to have seen um yeah that's kind of unfortunate because that's probably a better system is to just have the motor be disabled or maybe have it lock up the rear wheel for example when you lock up the bike that would be better but i guess it's better than nothing they do offer a um, like an apple air tag theft deterrent option so basically if you get that it's like 80 dollars, and then they install an apple air tag somewhere in the bike and so it's like a location uh, basically a location tracking ability so if you but your bike is stolen by somebody uh you'll be able to track it so that's an option that that's not currently installed on my bike all right so they'll cover for the highlights on this bike i'm gonna go ahead give it a ride test here and we'll talk about it a little bit more while i'm riding it all right, start off in pedal assist level one. We're just going to pedal. And I'm um, going to read off the wattage as well as the speed since this has a watt meter. Um, about nine, ten miles an hour. Level one. We're drawing around 10, 11 watts of power here, just cruising. All right, so uh, switch it into level two. And now we're uh, going uh, about just at 13 miles an hour and it's increasing slowly. About 20 watts, 22 watts. So now we're up to about 14 and a half. It looks like that's the max on level two. Let's go to level three. about 
18 and a half, 19. I'm drawing about 31, 32 watts. Let's go to level four. Hitting about 21. 21 and a half miles per hour, 42 watts. All right, switching to level five. I am freewheeling a little bit. There's a, um, a cadence sensor on this one, I believe, not a torque sensor. And we're uh, about 21 miles an hour. 50 to 52 watts of power as a maximum speed. All right, put it back into the pedal assist level one. We're just gonna hit the throttle now and see how much speed we can gain and how quickly. And again, a reminder, this is just a 36 volt motor at a 550 watt cell. It's a lighter bike, smaller motor, uh, but it's, Pretty, it's pretty fast still. Yeah, yeah, we're hitting our maximum speed now, 21.8. And we're drawing about 47, 49 watts. All right, so let's talk a little bit about how this rides and overall, it's fairly comfortable. Definitely could uh, help to have a uh, suspension on here, but as long as you're sticking to street roads, sidewalks, bike paths, which is what this bike's intended for. It's okay, it doesn't feel, uh, I don't feel like it's uncomfortable. You feel the bumps though when you do run over them. So try and avoid them if you do happen to get this or air down the tires a little bit. This one, I think the recommend 60 pounds. I aired these up to 50 pounds just to give it a little bit of softer ride, but that does hit your efficiency a little bit. So uh, I think at 60 pounds in the tires, you get the maximum efficiency, the most range. But if you want smoother, ride with the tires absorbing some of those bumps, then you uh, can air down the tires a little bit and uh, just take a little bit of a hit on your efficiency and your range. But overall, pretty comfortable to ride. It's a very quiet bike. Um, you don't hardly hear the motor at all, uh, unless you're going uh, full bore, you know, pedal assist level five. And uh, it's, everything's solid on this one. You don't hear any rattles or anything creaking. It just feels really solid overall gonna do it for this video guys so if you guys want to check it out link will be down in the video description there might be some coupon codes i might update that from time to time so check it out down there i'll do it for this one talk to you guys in the next video